Welcome back to the Titan Ranger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about some Super 7 figures I'm going to open. But I can't just sit here and open up, what, 2, 4, 6, 5, 7, 8 figures and not make a video about it. But these are not reviews. I'm just going to open them, I'm going to look at them a little bit, we're going to move on, go down the road. I'm not going to review every accessory, every part, every piece, but we'll take a look at these going forward. I think it'll be kind of fun. And then I have one special little treat. Talk about this and more coming up. If you notice the turtles that you see down there, you see a turtles mat. It's not Silverhawks. It's not going to be Thundercats. It's because I just made the Technodrome video. So if you want to watch the Technodrome video, go check that out. A review of Vintage One Complete in okay condition. Okay. Here is the Mumbo Jumbo. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. If I was doing a full review, you'd see it compared to vintage figures, but literally here's the box and then I'm going to cut to it out of the box. So here's Mumbo Jumbo out of the packaging and he looks fantastic. I mean, come on, Super 7 does great work. Now it comes with these open hands, which I don't have any use for. If I was going to pose him with some dynamic pose or some crazy, but I want him holding his stuff like his gun. He's got this cool little gun right here and he comes with his bird in both open and closed mode now the original toy had a bird that literally was it was just red but it looks similar to this red and then it closed up into this so he can hold this or the bird could stand on maybe his arm yeah it hooks on pretty good yeah and then you could put his other one in his hand right here and he has one more accessory which I'm not exactly sure why he has, oh, handcuffs. I know why. Lots of teenage boys have their fantasies come true with Bubbo Jumbo and his handcuffs. Next up we have Monet Molecular and I have, so the ones I'm opening, I have two of each. And there's all kinds of accessories just rattling around in there. That's how I picked this one to open. The other one, everything's still locked in place. How does that happen? I don't know. Is that considered a QC issue if your stuff rattles around the box. I'm not sure, but we're going to open this up and take a look at it. This is all we're going to see in the box, and then I'm going to open it and we're going to see what it looks like out of the box. All right, here's Molecular. Not only is he just cool looking exactly like the cartoon, for better or for worse, I mean, is, is it a detriment or is it just like, wow, wow. My wife would say, wow, if she had anything to do with this world, but she says that when I say something and she disapproves. That's how I know I said it wrong. Anyway... Here is his fist, and he comes packed with this weird-looking fist on the... And then you can put this uh, tool over him, and then you get a clear one, which it does the same thing, and a clear thing on there, too. And then you got this, which blasts some stuff from an episode, that thing from an episode. You got this blaster with him. This hand is not the one that came on. It's like a slapping hand was on it, and it's a cool-looking blaster. You got his bird, which does not look like the toy at all, I believe... We're going to see this redone as a toy version. It, this is crying for a toy version just because of the accessories, but I, it would be an unnecessary one because he just looks really cool. If I had the vintage one right here, I could show it. He has two different faces. One's got like a smirky smile and one's got like a super duper ultra fad, fad, sad, fad, sad. But I think this face is perfect. Actually, what's shipped with it is perfect and he looks good. And I don't want to spend too much time on this but it looks great. I love it. Can't wait to get it in my display. Next, we're getting into Hot Wing. I got a little excited. Did not take the pre-unboxing picture of it in the box, but hey, you know, it's fine. It's, it, here it is in the package. And he's got his wings behind him, all kinds of good stuff. This is exciting. It's a little bit dull on the paint scheme. Let's get it out of the box. Here we go with Hot Wing and... He looks pretty good. So far, no apparent QC issues on anything. The bird clips on pretty good. I like his alternate head because the first one just was a little bit plain. I like a little bit of a smile, too. I think of him as someone that smiles a lot. He is actually kind of a, a magician in the show, and he does some stuff looking pretty good overall. I mean, matches. Now, I, I think he's a little duller than I expected, but he's got a nice sheen to him overall. Just, I, I see, like, in person versus what's on the camera. On the camera, he looks way shinier than he does in person. 
but on the camera it's just picking up every gleam that my eye doesn't. The bird fell off and flew around. Still, it would hold on okay. I haven't had any QC issues on any of these figures so far, but he does come with some other accessories that I'm, well, I guess maybe I will use some of them. There's the head for when he's got his wings on. There's some sort of crystal and other different hands. He came with uh, some, what, some more fisting hands to start, more or less. And there's that. He does have these uh, blaster pieces. I'm not going to pull them out. Let's just throw his wings on. Let's get him in armored up mode. All right, so here he is with his armored up mode. I think it looks really good. What do you think? Do you think that he should be with armored up mode with the armored head or just his regular head. I kind of like the regular head and armored up mode at the same time. I did uh, put the same hands on a head before. He does have this magic trick hand that he used in one of his episodes I recently watched and I actually featured that on one of my channels. A small snippet of it. But cool looking figure. Can't wait to get him in back metal. I'll buy three. Next up is Stargazer, my first Thundercat that I bought at a toy show for $3. Back the vintage one complete but a little bit worn and a little yellowed the vintage one but i gotta say some of y'all are gonna say mike why are you act so silly about opening these because it literally is a 450 fifty dollar plus tax threshold before i even opened one of these for this whole wave is four figures they're 55 each and i bought two waves and i am keeping one sealed and one to open but that's my problem not yours anyhow getting into this it looks good in the package let's get it out of the packet all right so here he is out of the packaging he looks pretty cool I did swap out, this is the original head that came on it, and I swapped it out with kind of a smiling head and a little slightly telescoped eye, which I think adds more dimension to the character. It looks pretty good. And then we got this uh, giant rifle that he used in one episode. I remember the episode, but I, I can't tell you what it's called off the top of my head. And then there's a little hand pistol. Looks kind of cool. He does look like the character. Thing is, is will we get him in vac metal with just one, two, three parts vac metal? Probably not. That's sad. Unless they can figure out a way to just vac metal that little bit or just do extremely metallic paint. I mean, then you're kind of recessing going backwards with it, but it still looks pretty cool. He does have his bird. And there he is. And there's no feature where you can see through it. So it is what it is. But there is like, oh, 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 whoa, 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 where are you at? Why ain't you sticking on there? There we go. There he is with his bird. Nothing more special than a man with his bird, oh, Cyborg, with his bird. So we've got some loot attacks, some Thundercats, and we're gonna look into these. And so this new feature on YouTube where you can just type in real quick in the comments, which one you want me to open first, Chilla or Luro. I'm gonna give you a few seconds here. All right, so 93% say Chilla, so we're gonna open Luro first. All right, here we go with Luro. Out of the package, looks pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like his face that's on him. So he's alternate face. Here is his like orb or whatever, and which I don't really know what's going on with that. He's got also another orb. We'll see that in a second. He's got this staff and yeah, stuff raw. Not really raw. He's got this belt on him. He looks cool. He looks really cool. He's got this hair that's rubber and it's uh, glued onto him, I believe, all the way around. Great looking figure. Some people say he's not tall enough. We'll look at that in a second here. Now he does have this other face, which it's a cool looking face. He's got a laughing, but I kind of like the face he's not got on him the most. Usually that's where I'm at. He's got a yellow orb and what else does he have he's got this map is it a map he's got this um forgot what that's called but yeah it's pretty cool and then he's got this uh, treasure chest looking thing over here upside down is it upside down lights it up and all these different hands he came with fisted hands and i put on holding hands that will hold the accessories and uh the people that say that he is not the right height i'm just i'm just gonna compare him to chitara he's much bigger than chitara and that works because i mean chitara can you can work her into any skit pretty much if you are a thundercats fan chitara works in every comparison in every review here's chilla in the packaging i already showed her but we're gonna show her again there she is looking good hey you know what she might look pretty good next to chitara also let's get her out of here and see how she looks all right so here is chilla let's take a look down at her and get a good look at this chick. She looks good. She's got this wand with her. She's got her alternate face that just plugs in this whole blowing thing, which is so cool. That's an interesting idea. Just an extra face, which without it, she just looks like she's kind of like, yeah, I'm going to get you. 
You don't know how. I'm going to freeze you with my freeze mouth. I've, uh, my wife gives much colder stares than this at me on a daily basis, but it's okay. She looks really good. She has a little moon that's glued in there. I don't exactly know what this is. I don't know what the accessories are called. This is a wand. And uh, wired cape. Looks pretty good. And it's got multiple layers of colors on it. She's actually got this shoulder padding going on right here. She's got some gauntlets on. Uh, really amazing looking figure. I mean, they did a really good job with this figure. Like, <laughs> when are we going to get a Chilla better than this? in my lifetime probably not this is the creme de la creme the end all and be all of chillas and we got this like spray can and this other spray can looking thing and this uh purse she's got her purse there's a face that came with her and then like a necklace and some more hands and if i actually was doing a review i'd look everything up and give you a better answer but i'm not doing a review it's a quick unboxing and then here she is next to Chitara, and they're not going to be best buds. Hint, hint, not at all. Let's check out this color change process. Let's see if I can get it on video right here. So it turns purple, and then, yeah, that gets the job done. That color change really works. Takes a few seconds. You can see where it's got a different type. The palm plastic doesn't change color, so his elbow doesn't change color all the way. But yeah. Cool, cool effect. Really cool effect. Alright, so let me know what you think about these. This is a fun wave and a couple of Thundercats. So Silverhawks, Thundercats, lots of fun. I have to admit that I'm the most excited when I get some Super 7 stuff in or Masterpiece Transformers, Legends Transformers from Show Z. Those excite me equally the same. But uh, it's kind of fun. I do want to see more back metalized stuff. I do want to see more of this. Of course, I'd like Brian to send me some advanced copies so I can tell him what's good or bad. But I had no QC issues with these. Straight up, I'm not going to lie. If I have one, I'd show you. But nothing is wrong. I do always have trouble clipping the birds on. That's always every time. But I've got them to stay all on. Except for, well, this one, if I tried harder, he'd stay on. But anyhow, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Teddy Hanger out. Happy 4th of July.